What do peaty bogs in Northern Europe have in connection with electric vehicles? Well, scientists in Estonia say they found a way to use peat to make sodium ion batteries cheaply for use in EVs. Sodium ion batteries are one of the new technologies that battery makers are looking at as they seek alternatives to the dominant lithium ion model. Scientists at Estonia's Tartu University say using peat reduces the overall cost of the battery because they don't contain relatively costly lithium, cobalt, or nickel. And the peat they're using is very cheap as it is not used for agriculture or fuel, but does yield a good quality carbon powder for batteries. That's according to N. Lust, head of the university's Institute of Chemistry. In Estonia, we have a lot of uh, peat, and in principle, uh, we are not using this peat. What can be used for the uh, agricultural and other heating purposes, but we are using mainly the peat, what is not used usually in Estonia. It is a well decomposed peat, and we are preparing after through the two synthesis uh, steps, very good uh, carbon powder, what can be used for this uh, sodium and batteries, as well as supercapacitors. How does it work? The process includes heating decomposed peat to a high temperature in a furnace for two to three hours. That carbon is used to make components in the batteries. With an increasing move worldwide to renewable energy and electric vehicles, alternatives to lithium batteries like this could be important. Global demand for lithium last year was about 320,000 tons and is expected to hit 1 million tons by 2025, and 3 million tons by the end of the decade. And we need a very cheap devices to store huge quantities of electricity. And on this uh, possibility is batteries, including the lithium ion and sodium ion batteries, but the lithium ion batteries are very expensive because uh, the price of lithium is uh, 30 or even 50 times more expensive than sodium. The technology is still in its infancy, and sodium ion batteries using peat still need to prove they are commercially viable and can be scaled up. But the university expects the government to fund a small-scale factory in Estonia to try out the technology.